Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own ethanol free gas at home without any special tools or anything like that. So you see I've got a water jug there, I've conveniently marked gas so that nobody fills it with something and tries to drink out of it. The gallon is 128 ounces, so I put 13 ounces of water and I marked a line there so that I won't ever have to measure again. So I'm going with approximately 10% ethanol in your typical gas. If you know yours has more or less, then just adjust your water accordingly. The process is really simple. What you do is pour gasoline in here, the typical what we might call E10 or E15 gas that has mostly gasoline with a little bit of ethanol in it. And then I'm going to shake this up. The ethanol will sink to the bottom and the gas will float to the top. Shake it up. And I want you to watch how fast it separates the water and the alcohol drop to the bottom and the gas will go to the top. So you can see it's almost immediate that it separates. I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer, make sure there's no water or alcohol in this upper section, but I'm pretty sure that we're dealing with pure gasoline up at the top now. There are a couple of methods to get your gasoline out of here and into one of your gas jugs. I'm going to be keeping my ethanol free in this two gallon jug. If you have these type of bottles that just have a pop on cap, they may leak if you flip them upside down. So do so at your own risk. But one method would be to turn this upside down, let everything resettle so that the water and alcohol were up at the top and then just pull off the cap let the water alcohol run into a different container, cap it off, and then transfer the gasoline. Option two will destroy your bottle. So if you have a low volume of this that you want to do and you're constantly generating milk or water jugs to do this in, then you could just puncture the bottom of it with a small hole enough to drain out the water and once the gasoline hit the bottom of it, plug the hole and then quickly transfer this to your gas can. Option three is to take a siphoning pump, put in here and pump it out until your straw, for lack of a better term, is near the bottom. Obviously that's going to be your least efficient method because it's you're always going to have to leave some gas in the bottom or your risk sucking up the water. However, that always allows you to keep reusing these bottles. And yet another option is if you can get a bottle like this that's clear, see-through, but that the cap seals really tightly, then you could just turn these over and let them settle to the bottom that way. And obviously that would be the ideal method I am actually going to attempt this. <laughs> Those caps seem to be holding. Obviously I'm standing here supervising it. I wouldn't leave these unattended. That seems to be working, so we'll see. I'll let this all resettle and then I will transfer the water into that container there. So we'll see how well this works. I 
think that actually worked well other than uh, soaking my glove in the nastiness. Just see I got it in the container there without spilling any. And these are not showing any more water or alcohol in the bottom and they definitely have a much stronger aroma of gasoline. So I would call this a success. Those of you that do your own lawn mowing, whether you're using a push mower or a riding mower, lawn tractor, whatever you want to call it, plus obviously your weed whackers, edgers, blowers, all those things, you know if you're running the regular gasoline that you get at the pump that has some percentage of ethanol in it, you probably have a lot of carburetor problems over time. I know I do. So ethanol free gas is the way to go you, you pretty much got to do that with a carburetor problem is ethanol free gas is not available at most gas stations I know they're supposed to have it at least one station within every so many miles but I want to say it's like 50 or 100 miles well obviously if you got to drive 50 or 100 miles to get ethanol free gas that's uh, really not practical <laughs> But this method is practical. Just go get your regular gas and make your own ethanol free. One thing I want to point out, when you do this, supposedly the octane drops slightly. Now I don't have any way of measuring the octane. Obviously this was 87 octane gas when I got it out of the pump. So with that, you might want to try 89 or 91 or 93 octane if you're making your own ethanol free because if it is dropping the octane and you probably don't want it to go below 87. Hope the video was helpful. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and please tell your friends about my channel. Thank you very much.